slaying bikini girls on the regular, smashing them from behind, seeing their Christmas trees because, you know, he can't even recall all the Christmas trees he has smashed from behind because he just smashed so many goddamn dime pieces at this point. Like, this guy is unstoppable, according to him. What's up guys, Derek from ReplacementDates.com. Today we're gonna to be revisiting the guy who made the motherfucking trend alone story time post on on the More Plates More Dates subreddit. Um, I like how this thing seems to change every time I check it. So 20, we're at 21,000 members almost. 20.9 thousand are in the spa and 211 are currently in the sauna. <laughs> it's a good creative every time i come here it's like a different thing so anyways this guy if you recall correctly this is the guy who's a bikini girl slayer and a uh or a, a self-proclaimed bikini girl slayer it's not like i can fucking confirm or deny but uh, he had a pretty sick physique you know when he was on stage and now this is him off of steroids for two years supposedly i barely weight train the you know what and do a shit ton of cardio and take absolutely no subs no nothing protein pcas nothing i did a bunch of fasting only because i hated eating after the last few years he is indeed the guy who posted motherfucking tremble on story time even though he has a different account he still has not disclosed why it is under a different account i don't know but anyways he is uh, labeled as sick cunt apparently on the subreddit i don't know if this is like some sort of badge of honor you get like i you would think i know how this thing works better by now like i mean i'm in it all the fucking time but I don't. Like, I don't know what this means. Like, he is, uh, how do you gain this? You know? Did a moderator, like, give you this fucking badge? Um, <laughs> 14, met, meth head Charizard. Um, so anyway, this is, like, the whole detail. And then he says, damn, guess the gains are maintainable after going off cycle. To be honest, this is a bad representation. I came off months before the pandemic. Couldn't train heavy, so I stopped training. With weight, legit only skipped, walked, or jogged. Was too heavy at first to jog, so I got a pull-up bar and was doing workouts. By the way, this is the guy who had the Guru Cycles. If you recall correctly, it was like a top five Guru Cycle, and he just like broke it down. Like this is something you would get from, I imagine, you know, a uh, Hani Rambot or a Chad Nichols or something like that. You know, tr traditionally seen as like a a bodybuilding industry like uh, like Guru, I guess. You know, uh, who else comes to mind? Um, names escaping me right now. Chris Aceto, you know, stuff like that. Um, so anyways, so I got a pull-up bar was doing workouts that only involve running, skipping pull-ups and all types of body weight workouts and lots of yoga. I needed to find some sort of fitness goal. Otherwise I'd be so, I'd be lost. So I said, I just wanted to get in the best shape and go from there. Nice. On the other hand, I really can't understand when someone says they got tired of eating. I mean, honestly, what food is love? Food is life, dude. I'll have to dig through my email and find some of my eating plans. Then you'll understand. Bah ha ha. This is the guy who was like, bah, ha, ha, like 50 fucking times. And I'm not talking burgers and shit. I was on a whole food diet. So like six meals a day with seven to eight ounces of protein per meal. I know too much. I didn't make the plan. How <laughs> I even gave the fucking attitude from that sentence. How tall are you? 5'11 and 3 fourths. But I'll t I tell the women six shrugging face. What's your current weight? Bro, you look great. Without sacrificing your health, mind, and body, I really had a good laugh at your story. I'm glad you're off all the steroids now. Still looks good, dude. You know, visible outline of abs. Um, like, this is a physique that a lot of women would be, like, consider. This is, like, a top physique in, like, fucking professional football, to be honest. And when I say football, I mean actually Europe, like, soccer. You know what I fucking mean, not actually, like, NFL. Like, this would be a physique of, like, an elite, like, top-tier goddamn chat of a soccer player. Football player. You know what I mean? So, anyways, getting to Professional Bugs uh, Breakdown, this is his uh, posting history, and he has the, uh, he's got some new threads since I was here last. Hashtag nervous, you feel me? Who eats ass in the diet section? Having trouble picking up women and need help? You're gonna make a PUA thread, apparently. Here's when I came first in my class and second, the overall for Mr. Ontario, no longer a title. I think it was 22 to 23 here. I had done the provincials while Chris Bumstead won the pro show that year. All right, so let's uh, open that up. Top five best coaches in the fitness industry gave this to me. Okay, so presumably this is the exact same thing. Here's my plan. My next post will be the absolutely absurd amount of gear he wanted me to take. Like I absolutely know when I post this, you guys are going to lose it. Crying laughing face times three. Yeah, so if you recall, this was him. I would assume like peak goddamn form. Like literally what is... Uh, 
Well, it's like the final form. It's like a perfect cell. You have like, uh, like uh, cell absorbs Android, whatever. Cell absorbs Android, whatever. And then he ends up at like perfect cell. Like this would be like, <laughs> I try, like fuck. I don't even remember what the perfect uh, equivalent is of the fucking villains in Dragon Ball Z. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. But anyway, he's like uh, fucking, I don't know, SSG goddamn four here. So here he is in uh, full dice down mode. Um, dialed in abs, peel out of his goddamn mind, trend out of his tree, slaying bikini girls on the regular, smashing them from behind, seeing their Christmas trees because, you know, he can't even recall all the Christmas trees he has smashed from behind because he just smashed so many goddamn dime pieces at this point. Like, this guy is unstoppable, according to him. Um, so anyway, he obviously looked really fucking good. Damn, are you a descendant of Derek? I grew from the... <laughs> I grew from the Derek's garbage can that can possess copious amounts of nectar left behind in Derek's TRT syringes. That mixed with old chicken breast that Derek deemed not edible created the Saucinator. Created for only two purposes, get huge and smash all the fours on Tinder until they're left sweating from all the trend dick. Oh man, nice. Okay, so this was a uh, oh, nice uh, classic shot here. The comparison to uh, Bumstead there, interesting. Um, no comments, apparently. So let's see, is this the uh, top five best coaches in the fitness industry gave this to me? Never did I do this cycle. This is legit going to do damage. Do not do this. I was 21 at the time and knew how, I don't know if this is YouTube friendly, dumb the cycle was. Less is more trust, even if I wanted to. It's funny, I'll literally say swear words, but I won't, don't even know if this is like fucking monetizable. Fucking, fucking. Less is more trust, even if I wanted to. <laughs> There's no way I could afford it. All of this was farm grade. I could be seriously hurt, no joke. It's the orals that are absurd. The cycle is by no means healthy, bro, but it's not like dosages like this aren't commonplace in competitions. I don't know what you expected from people who le coach legit Olympians who are basically walking pharmacies. Okay, I need PCT just from reading that. All right, let's see it. So we are into the full-blown cycle. First, second, third, fourth week. Test set, 400 milligrams every other day. All right, so over a gram a week. Parabolin, 100 milligrams every other day. So we're looking at, you know, 300 to 400. EQ, 200 milligrams every other day. Ooh, um, that is going to be a potent crusher of E2. Anadrol, 50 milligrams per day. A Mastron every, man, fuck. <laughs> and anti-estrogens on top. Remedex per day, predetermined. Love that. The guy just has no idea. This guy is just assuming he understands what this guy's individual aromatization rates are like whilst he's on upwards of 600 to 800 milligrams of Mastron per week, alongside 600 to 800 milligrams of EQ per week, and somehow predicts that he's still gonna need half a milligram of Remedex every single day to deal with the 400 milligrams every other day of testosterone. And who knows if he thinks Anadrol is a substrate for aromatase, I don't know. But uh, man, this thing's like planned down to the fucking day without even knowing what happens. He's just like, it doesn't matter what your dose response is, your side effect profile, any of this shit, this is the cycle. There is no, there is no figuring it out as we go. Like this is literally what you're gonna do, regardless. Like I don't, it doesn't matter if you have a, you know, a different response to these compounds. It doesn't matter if you need less than another guy. It doesn't matter if you don't respond well for this specific thing. We might need to swap something out. It doesn't matter if you're fucking not able to eat because of the anadrol every day. Like we're literally doing this, no matter what. Sustanon, 250 milligrams every other day. So he switches from test sip to sustanon at the fifth week. Trenbolon in anthate instead of parabolon because somehow using a bit of a, I think trenbolon in anthate is a shorter ester. Um, definitely is, not if I recall correctly. So switching to a shorter ester, despite the fact that you've already pretty much saturated the trend hex at this point. Um, why? Like, why are we switching to an anthate? Boldenone still, oxandrolone. So now we're switching to anivar from anadrol. 20 milligrams every eight hours. What the fuck? So we're just gonna like, hmm. Okay, that is interesting. Anti-estrogens, one milligram of Remedex per day. Like to be honest, when it comes to like orals, I see nowadays, I would assume acute usage in a sparing manner around the peri-workout window would be a lot more appropriate than using it as like a compound to create protein expression. Like here it says 20 milligrams every eight hours. It's like, why? Like, why not just use it acutely before your training sessions or your hardest training sessions and let the muscle building occur from your actual injectables, you know? One milligram of Remedex every day. 1.25 milligrams letrozole every other day. 
That's just fucking idiotic, dude. So he's like, not only is his estrogen already going to probably be in the ground from this EQ, but in addition to that, he is adding in a milligram of aromatase. Like, you know when a coach doesn't actually understand mechanism of action once they have two aromatase inhibitors lapping over each other. Like, what are you accomplishing above and beyond like what one or the other is going to be doing? <sighs> so anyway, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th week, testosterone and anthate. I'm surprised he didn't say like who the coach was who did this. Like, why? Like, why post the thing and then, like, not warn people to, like, steer clear or whatever? Test E every other day, 200 milligrams. Man, this guy loves swapping his test. Prima um, 100 milligrams every day. So, you know, I'm assuming short-acting Primo um, or Ace Tabs. Let me know. <laughs> Let's see. What is the next thing? Let's see if there's another picture here. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, so is this the same fucking picture? Okay, so 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th week. Oh, I think I might have missed a section. Here, it looked like he went to switch the trembolone acetate from an anthate, 100 milligram every other day. Um, he probably had a different test in there again. Mastron dross probe instead of an anthate. Winstrol tab, 75 milligrams every day. Every six hours around the clock. Proviron, because of course our SHBG that's already non-existent needs to be bound up. We need to bind to that SHBG that doesn't exist because that makes a lot of sense. So let's do that. Anti-estrogens, because the Proviron, Winstrol, and Mastron weren't already doing enough, we need one milligram of Remedex every day, plus two and a half milligrams of Letrozole every other day. Let's just make you feel like suicidal. Like that is the goal for this cycle. Let's do that. 13th, 14th, 15th, and this is like not even in the last four weeks of the fucking prep, dude. Wow. Thir like anti-estrogens to crush estrogen, to dry out, makes sense in a stepping on stage context in like a last minute thing not a month out you know like you don't keep your estrogen at fucking zero a month out it's fucking absurd 13th 14th 15th 16th week test probe every other day um masteron you know trend ace <laughs> fuck dude halo four weeks out 10 milligrams every eight hours this is a this is ridiculous dude this is absolutely absurd um okay so i think you guys get the point this is fucking this is, this is the kitchen sink. Like if you ever wonder like what I mean when I say like the kitchen sink approach to a cycle, this is like, you know what? Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's take everything. Let's take everything. And some, you know, you'll probably look good because it's like, if this doesn't work, then what will, you know? That's the kind of approach these guys take. But again, you have to keep in mind, less can be more in some circumstances. If you are crushing your estrogen into the fucking ground, using compounds that are binding up non-existent SHBG, layering on extra oxidative stress, organ stress in general, for no apparent reason, like your physique may regress and make less strides than it would if you had less overall burden on your body and a more tolerable drug regimen and things that aren't inhibiting actual processes to maintain muscle tissue and offset catabolism and shit like that. So anyway, obviously pretty ridiculous. And um, I don't think I really need to explain a whole lot more. Hey, there's a few other threads in here. Let's see the who eats ass thread. Only eating ass on trend doesn't count. Wow, that's an interesting uh, split. It's like more people eat ass on the subreddit. Eating ass is dope as hell. Live fast, eat ass, and die of organ failure for a sport no one cares about. This is the way. I find dying on that ass. Not the only one to see the ass eating comment in the trend mega thread. <laughs> I see. <laughs> When the bitch comes right out of shower, I can eat ass for sure. When the bitch comes right out of shower. This almost reminds me of like that meme of like bitch lasagna. When bitch, <laughs> when bitch comes right out shower, I eat ass. Okay, bro. Okay, so anyway, that was uh interesting breakdown of the, uh, I don't know who the guru is. If you guys, uh, if there was a hint in here somewhere or you guys know, that would be, uh, I'm kind of curious to be honest, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of the cycle of, uh, I don't know, this guy, his, his physique. I don't know, like the natural physique he's able to maintain after coming off all that shit for years. Um, did it surprise you how much muscle he lost? Did it surprise you how much he kept? And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. and much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. Moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with. In the video description below, my TRT clinic. I'll tell the medicine from the comfort of your own home. If you want high quality doctors to oversee your care so you don't end up with, not that this guru guy is a doctor or anything, but like you don't want to be getting TRT advice or hormone intervention advice from guys like that. And a lot of guys are, you know? You want a high quality doctor who knows how to interpret your labs, interpret your um, 
more elaborate diagnostics ideally as well with background context of your lifestyle, diet patterns, stuff like that, and make an intelligently designed protocol specifically tailored for you, not like a cookie cutter TRT clinic that has the exact same thing for every single guy. Like you can tell this kind of a guru, it's a cookie cutter kind of approach, kitchen sink at all the athletes probably. So yeah, you know, steer clear of that shit. And uh, if you want high quality medical oversight, check out my clinic. All the meds are shipped right to your door. You don't even need to leave the house. All the consults are over Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, whatever's convenient for you. And uh, it's all telemedicine, way of the future in my opinion. Um, if you want to support the channel, anything else I'm associated with too is in the video description below. Gorilla Mind, Nootropics, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas, recommended diet model for building muscle, sports performance, while being mindful of micronutrient intake, sleep hygiene, gut health, etc. And anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.